Is it? Uh, I I doubt Alliances it's like one of those corny hand off the venomance of the eggs right away kind of games. I think it's a farming venomance then. Just possibly. Who's got that better level one? We'll see. Bulldogs five v four. Front. He gets a huge setup with the sticky, but they see trouble and they try to pull back. The roll's gonna be there. Big physical hit from Ake with that heal. Could force escape to kind of pull out, and it's gonna be Kenzie who ends up going down first. The Alliance might not be done yet. Era not focusing era, so he doesn't really get a whole lot of spins up a dot. By the time they focus him, he's gonna be as good as dead. Two kills for Alliance to start things off in game number two. Yeah, uh, I don't know if Escape were anticipating Radiance all of Alliance to be there, but they definitely attack. got kind of coaxed into a bit of an awkward situation. Here's a roll, and it's set up with the Gale from Cinder. And is it going to be enough slow power to allow Air to get in for any sort of call? Oh, at all? right click, just yes. The right click. Sindarin takes the last poke of that one, and it's quick. Two. Yeah, if you get the roll, they don't have stun yet. He wants level three on the outfit. So close. There's the roll. It does connect. He gets it. With the slow and the acid spray and the stun flying out, it should be good enough. Yeah. Don't get it done. That's what you want to do. He will possibly no. lose his own life. It looks like he will. Gets taken down. S4 actually gets the note for that. And Bulldog with a haste rune wildly appears. Oh, God. He's, he's starting to He's going. The sticky icky, and he burns him down blah, 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 the whole way. Yeah. Best and he's going to be a very happy bat rider now, being part of Axe, letting Cinderin get his levels. And now they're thinking about doing something, but this is now already a very strong. They do have Yapsor coming in from the rear, too. Let's see if Bulldog can find his way out of this. Spin, spin. Era needs spins here, not getting a whole lot of it. There goes the lead in the boulder smash, and that's going to be good. They'll get the bat rider down and escape fire back once again. Yeah, it is a very high kill potential kind of lane. The venomous scale makes it very hard. Yeah, the few select. Indeed, and uh, Bulldog again might be uh, baited into aggression here, or is it Syndrome who's going to be feeding this time? Ooh, he Ooh, chokes it. Five stacks. He sidesteps the Gale and easily torches and burns him up. Yeah, this time play here in the bottom lane. This could be Yapsor. Double Ion Shell, going to be set up, they're looking for their target, it is Loda, there they make their move, they connect wonderfully, and he tries to get the Gust off, but the Boulder Smash is going to be able to connect, which will pop off the stun, they get the, the surge. surge, they need a little Four bit grave. more, heal is there, and Ake holds the Grave, will finally dish it out, will they overcommit, or the Drow, it looks like they will, Run Loda. beautiful defensive play, he gets the Gust off, and it looks like they'll be able to end up Man. with two kills for Loda, double kill, and <laughs> Bulldog also gets a kill, get the hell out, yeah. needs to pop his wand, and maybe a TP here, here, but EGM's chasing him, and he has a fire blast. Oh, he's trying oh, to be sneaky, but happen. yeah, no, not it's happen, all ogre. Sir. You got a pointy head, and it's gonna he's be trying to walk past, he's but this ogre is just is hard to watch. Takes him into a back alley and heavy hit. He'll be able to get the last hit on that one, and they could follow it up with a secondary tower takedown, possibly here in the mid lane. It looks like Alliance have already rotated in a couple backliners, including including a certain a lot of damage on the He's racer. Blink, ready to go, pops in, gets the lasso. It's gonna be on Yapsora. Pretty oh. safe and easy target there. Good thing he didn't get the grab on the Alchemist instead. That would have been even. Oh, they've been spotted by the ward now, though. The smoke just ran out. Uh -oh. They know. Bulldog takes to the skies. He's looking for a setup play, possibly for a blink lasso. Makes his commitment. Gets the grab. It's on Yapsor, who already gets the magnetized. While Era jumps in, gets a nice two-man call. Loda gonna get saved though with the grave. Keeps him alive and well, but Koifun could end up waiting for him a bit, and he'll end up getting burned down. They lob out the stun, and they'll get the follow-up takedown on the dab. But looking to go for Bulldog. He flame breaks them back, but the chase is on, and Koifun is fast, man. He's got that haste and he just chops him down. Era though, the man left behind here between EGM and S4 will be dropped. And Alliance are able to stream together a couple of kills them. Anyone who can grab really, any target is good one. Flying up and over, who will be the best target? Era quick to blink back. Quick already in the ulti, he makes his move, gets the grab back. They have no way to stop except for a slow kick of a boulder smash. They'll finally slow him down, but the damage has already been done. Yes, he's going to be taken out of this fight. There'll be no wall for you, sir. In the mech on darks here. What a sad time to smoke for escape if they the difference get between that one pick off the previous fight and oh. it could happen here to Yaps or he gets pulled right into the arms of the drow. Here he comes in, but he gets silenced immediately, so he cannot fall over the call. Sinner's gonna be going down as well. Koifer tries to move for S4, but he gets forced back in away here. A good move in from Alliance leading oh, yeah. to two successful picks on both supports, and they'll be able to follow up with a tier two takedown. And that's why you're happy you have a dazzle as well after you get hit by the venomous ulti. You know, you don't care at all. Poison Nova does enough. Look at like all the stat game here for Drow with her Dragon Lance, with S4, his items, his uh, mech, his Dragon Lance. They're yeah. going to be able to shrug off all of that magical damage. 47 HP against the Drow and uh, Racer, both for Dragon Lance. And. 
uh, they yeah, don't, it's gone. They don't do it. Okay. Lone is just gonna snipe it. That's a lot of money. Asked in the first. EGM is like, am I being harassed? Because. Uh oh, hold on, makes his move. Nice insta silence comes out from Yapsor. Oh, really they quick. try to make the call, but the four staff gets full on the low ground. Now, S4 thinks he can get a snipe on Cinderin. Meanwhile, Kazu, that's their big high ground defender, has just been taken out of the fight, Waga. 35 seconds, he's dead, no buyback. And this is when a Dazzle lineup can really just shove up when you have the number advantage, just keep healing everyone. Load is in, though, and he begins to go to work. Popping up shots right now, gets the one range racks down like it's paper, and then goes for the melee here. Any way to stop the little lady, it doesn't look like yeah it. silence onto era as well he's gonna go in soon roll in from Yapsor. he's got to be forced to commit the magnetized gets unleashed and he gets focus fire now he's very weak but he'll dish out everything he can before he's gonna get dropped he stayed alive decently but again the sustained power the way to shrug it all off oh Sindarin slithering away he is gonna be fine but the Rax is not no it's Dyer's not middle barracks. And you can see it. Look at Alliance, just full life. It's as if they didn't... Of course, there is a cooldown on the Poison Nova and the Magnetize. Maybe they just feel that confident. Yep, 20 seconds before a Magnetize is even ready. By the time it is, Yathor may have four stones to work. Loda will be a little bit more uh, safely positioned. They could definitely bring him down once. Oh, for sure. Oh, mid. Oh, grab from Bulldog. It's on point for of all people. He tries to run back in a way. Gets a force of assistance oh. here. And he makes it to safety. Half Alliance been dragged into an awkward situation. It looks like Bulldog is going to be the first to go down. And Alliance beeline it back to the bottom here. Going Boyfoot for the racks. That one, but the racks are in trouble. S Force, Eye of the Storm, and right clicks coming out from Loda. Should be able to do enough. Oh, no, the Super Snake. 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 in as fast as possible. Gets quickly silenced and sent back home. Follow up from Era. Gets the call on EGM and Loda, but where is the damage going to be coming from? It's going to be coming from Alliance as they take down Era. S Force still in the heart of the base. Happy to fight it Just out. Just healing up more and more for some Nova. Oh, Axe is back. King. Axe is back yeah, and one. is able to get the kill. Like Found more. it very appropriate that Bulldog was the only one who died in the first little engagement because he self fuel stress really. Gonna prepare with the weave. Yeah, there's there's stress. It's just over on escape side. That's where the stress is really at right now. Finding and hoping for the ideal setup play here. As for confident, have to go on front. Is gonna get called and they're gonna try to drag him back. Oh, a swing and a miss on the boldest match, but they will catch him with the grip. But they're not gonna be offering a whole lot. He runs back in away. Yapter looks to make his move. Actually, doesn't get a connection. It looks like they're with the magnetize. Yeah, he missed. It could be unfortunate. Alliance managed to get an escape drag out from the front, but it's Alliance who's taking the bulk of the damage here. S4 barely gonna get saved with the grave. Tries to make it out to safety but is not going to be able to make it out. It's Cinder who catches him with that dot damage, yeah. giggling the whole way. Great. Or uh, maybe look towards that next Roshan. Yeah. I would assume for both. Yeah, get some items, get another Aegis. Uh-oh, Kezu's oh, dead. Oh, Kezu. Yeah. Loda still hurts with that Silver's Edge, of course. Yeah, it says don't even... The flaming lasso, of course, of the Batrider, so they'll be ready to just go for the uh, high ground siege immediately after this. Racer will be the one to pick it up. Go right to work. I'm actually walking in. <laughs> has a full wall of wards, so Alliance can't even walk inside. Yeah, they tried to smoke in, but it was blocked off. But eventually, they have to show themselves. Bulldog gets a snag, looking to pull back Era here. They Great shot. Down, he's out instantly. No buyback for him. They're going to be losing Cinder. They're going to be losing so much more. Alliance just ripped right through all the escape. Era and Kizu are not going to be back for the response. Buyback, dieback. Loda going to work. Triple kill for him. Says four right by his side. And it looks like Alliance are going to be able to tie this series up. Up one to one. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. No way to really hold. Just uh, barely top them there. On racks away. Koifa will go in. Dish out what he can, but oh my goodness, he gets hit with the triple stun. Loda brushes him off. Hurricane Pike and Loda goes to work here, but there's the quick fancy to avoid the trouble. Stuns up, moves in. Oh, good Pop vacuum, but no vacuum one is really there. Wall. As four, very low. He's got speed. And he gets out. Roll forward from Yapsor, low to the low ground. Alliance, elusive and slippery. Yeah, very. EGM also trying to run away. Oh, nice catch call from Era, but uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get the finish here for S4. It's not going to be good enough. Yapsor gets off the magnetize, but they shrug it off now, and that uh, is a pause. Oh. Alk has D. Right away. Yep. You can see it's. Koifa, who's going to find himself in a bit of a pickle here. He's already lassoed up and being pulled back from Bulldog. Loda looks to finish quickly, shreks down Sidder and company. And, uh, well, that leaves pretty much just Koifa and just Kezu to defend. Kezu with really nothing else left to offer. It's all on Koifa to do anything about it. But Alliance have just taken down the last set of racks. They have the Vegas now. It looks like they have the win. Yeah, they're just going. Making them work for it, though. 
and but... GG will come out any minute. There we go. All right, props to Alliance as mentioned. Game number one was a hell of a barn burner. Both sides back and forth with escape ultimately coming out on top. But Alliance will be able to get a little bit of redemption for themselves as they claim a much easier win on the back of their dro and uh, yeah. Razor lineup. Yeah, really well played by both teams though. Both showed up and played some good Dota. I really have to respect that. I think uh, Loda was really on top of his game in this game in the laning phase. The gank on bottom that they turned around him and Aka together. And every single team fight, he got really clutch silences as well. So a lot of respect to him, but Alliance as a whole looking pretty strong in that second game. Absolutely.